We're here at Gonzaga College High School. So today we're looking at different rooms in the school and Tristan's gonna point out a few points of energy that he notices when we first walk into this empty classroom. As she said, we walked into the empty classroom and all these lights were on. The windows are open, the heat's still on. So as you guys can see, it's overlit for no one using it. Get a reading of about 69 foot candles. Yeah, about 50 is about what we look for. And I mean, just especially when no one's using it, there's no re reason to have these many, this many lights on. Well, we did the library, and so we did, so it's a lo larger room to begin with. Mm -hmm. And we had, we looked at all the lights and determined it was overlit as well, especially because there's natural lighting to go on. Um, and then with the computers, a lot of them are left on overnight and on standby all the time, as well as the printers. So I think we determined in the course of a year, just by turning off the computers at night, and when school's not in progress, it can save like $800 a month just on the library alone. I've been working on Gonzaga's after school energy on it. Um, it's really interesting on what we've been finding, just about what we can change in our school and like how it relates to any type of building. And we're just finding like how certain things in the classroom are just releasing a lot of heat, uh, uh, using a lot of energy. What kind of well, so it, computers, especially. Uh -huh. uh, the computer monitor is the hottest thing we're finding in the classrooms. So we're going to propose like power strips that completely shut off. Uh -huh. So instead of being put in like the standby mode that they are, they'll just completely shut out. We're noticing patterns. Um, classrooms, it's usually at the same time of the day, but different sides of the classroom, just so like the way the sun sets. But we're suggesting to teachers, you know, who in the morning have one sunlight, to as much as possible, we have really big windows, just to have their blinds all the way up and use the natural sunlight. Mm -hmm. um, we stopped like collecting data, and this week we're putting it all into um, Excel form and starting to graph it. 